Okay, it's breakfast time. Wife has scrambled eggs, I have whole eggs, you know, fried eggs. It's just how I roll. Um, right now I'm bulking, so not really can see me measuring food, and I'm not eating food I would be eating on a diet, as you'll probably see. But anyway, I'm going to crack open. I'm going to have probably four whole eggs today. It's not a lot of protein, but I'm going to also have, I'm drinking a little bit, oh, I can't do it. Drink a little bit of Humapro with it, which will fulfill my protein needs, hopefully. I'm starting the experiment soon. So, there we go. Oh, that one was ugly. Okay, got that going. Um, with my eggs, you know, we got the whole day in the life thing. Everybody wanted to see this. Um, it's not really that interesting, but... And this is a different, very different from every other video you'll see, because there's kids screaming in the background. This is a real American life right here. We're not players, we're not hustlers, and random kids running into the kitchen randomly. What's up, Thomas? I love you too. Good morning. Good morning, little man. How you doing? How you doing? Good? All right. So, being that I am Jewish by heritage, I got a little Jew in me, gotta start the morning off with bagels. When I'm bulking, man, when I'm dieting, I never have bagels. I always have oats or something. My wife actually slow cooks some oats. I'll put together in a second. But you know, the bottom line is, nothing beats a good whole wheat bagel. Put some jelly on this thing, man, it's good. All right, cut that open. Toast it a little bit. See, now my eggs... Um, we didn't have a chance to go to the farm. We like going to the farm um, and getting pasture-raised eggs. You know, the eggs that run around eating worms and, you know, not eating their own poop and all that good stuff. Plenty of space. Um, bottom line is, is that we just didn't have time, so we just got the good old-fashioned organic eggs from BJ's. And my opinion on that is, you know, get the best eggs you can. If you can't afford to get the whole eggs, you need know, the organic eggs, by all means, you know, a little bit of branch change right here to start my morning. By all means, you know, get the regular eggs. Just get eggs in you. I believe they're very healthy. We got that done. So my breakfast today is going to be four whole eggs, a bagel, which about, I believe a bagel is 49 grams of carbs, so 50 grams of carbs. And then I'm going to have some Humor Pro with it in a shaker cup couple scoops of that, that equals about 56 grams of protein, I'm going a little over on it, and um, we should be pretty good, so that's my breakfast for the day, and uh, so, right, so here it is, four whole eggs, some sea salt on it, a whole wheat bagel, because that's how my peeps eat, and then uh, my supplements, the notable ones, I'm taking a Core Flex by Core ABC, um, one of the most complete joint formulas, after lipoic acid for that there, antioxidants, glucose spills, and overall health. Um, cycle support, you all know how much I love this. Take this every day. And uh, the multi I used today was Microvite by Barthel Fitness. I actually dumped it all out the bottle and put it in a container, so no point to show that. Thomas, you're a camera hog. Alright, I'm eat. Peace. Alright, day's going on. I'm off to a meeting actually, so I gotta get some quick food in. I'm out of oatmeal. <laughs> um, except for some cooked stuff, which I think I don't like slow cooked oats and such. And here's Thomas. Been locked in my office all morning. There he is. Uh, two scoops of MTS Nutrition Whey, that's 50 grams of protein. And I'm actually going to mix this up first. Thomas, dude, you're crazy. I'm going to mix this up first. Put some water in here. And since I'm out of oatmeal, I'm going to rock out some quinoa and sludge. Now, it's just like oats. I mean, you can have them sweet. Not a big deal. Two cups of quinoa fits my carb uh, ratios, or just about. I'm not really concerned. I'll, I'll get enough calories in at the end of the day. So I'm going to rock that out. Cook quinoa. Don't make it raw. I don't even think that's possible. But here we go. You mix it in. Makes a nice little sweet treat, as you can see here. Don't put too much water in the way. And if you want it nice and cold, I'm going to actually do this. Hey. So, oh, good job, good job, homie. I'm throwing some blueberries. Now, during the day, I'm usually pretty busy on phone calls, um, doing work, all that good stuff. So I usually just make this, and I eat 
<laughs> I actually don't eat as much whole food as I should because frankly I don't care and business for me is way more important than getting all my meals in bro but I get them in it's just not I guess perfect for the whole food freaks and then on top of the quinoa I'll throw in a banana for some more carbs because bananas are tasty and there's there's Thomas again. Thomas is just crazy. See, this is my house. I come down from my office. It's completely quiet other than me talking. And this is what I come down to because it's summer and my man's not in school. The joys of working out of the house. Thomas, we get it. You like Z-bars. We do sell those at Queen City Nutrition. Okay. Tastes pretty good. Top it off. A little bit of peanut butter. We'll go over some macronutrients I got in here once I'm done with it. Put a little peanut butter on top for some good measure. That's about 30 grams right there, 15 grams of fat. So, <laughs> Thomas is crazy. Using diabetic exchange, you got about 60 grams of carbs. Uh, it used to be between 60 and 80 grams of carbs from the quinoa. You got about 15 grams of carbs from the banana. Blueberries, I put a little bit in, 9, 10 grams. So, let me see, 6, let's see. Got about 100 grams of carbs, let's say. Got about 30 grams of fat and 50 grams of protein. This is a normal meal. I'll eat, I'll eat this uh, 6 to 8 times a day on top of what else I eat. And between meals, I'll snack on something I'll show you later called cashew clusters from Costco. I think they're great. It's a 1 to 1 protein, uh, carb to fat ratio. I don't really count the protein in it, but it's pretty damn tasty. But I gotta get this down so I go to my meeting. Peace out. All right, here we go. Lunchtime. I'm a bit late. I'm gonna miss a meal today. Whoops. Um, we caught on the phone, meetings, all that good stuff. Brother's gotta work. Anyway, I'm gonna rock out the quinoa. I love quinoa. Quinoa is whole is a whole source of protein. It has a whole protein, so it's a complete protein. It's not an incomplete protein like rice or anything like that. So the protein that's in quinoa is actually usable for muscle growth. Then I'm gonna rock out some chicken. I already have a pre-cooked I grill. You guys see my grill, it's a big ass grill. And uh, see this is my house. This is why I don't fit, this is why I didn't do a day in the life. It's crazy up in here. I'm gonna go for eight ounces. That's eight ounces, can you believe that? Anyway, I kind of put this all together. And um Let's rip it up, throw it in a bowl, 8 ounces of chicken, about 60 80 grams of carb from quinoa. Alright, there we go. It's pretty easy. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to drink it. I'm going to stick it in the microwave. And that's meal three. So here we go. Cover on it. Set. Ready. While we're waiting for the food to cook, we should have done a second. I want to show you why I'm not adding fat to this meal. Cashew clusters. Also has almonds and pumpkin seeds. Buy them at Costco, the Kirkland Signature brand. Dude, ingredients. Cashews, almonds, cane sugar, pumpkin seed kernels, rice syrup, sea salt, and honey. 11 fat, 11 carbs, 4 protein. These things are the bomb. I eat them between meals. Mmm. It's good. Take my food out. No. This is where Ronnie Coleman and I disagree. KC Masterpiece is not the best barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray it is. And it's off season, I don't care. I'm going to eat good. Now, throw that on. Alright. This might be like Ronnie Coleman where I might have to get another bottle of this stuff. Anyway, I don't care how much I put on. I just put on enough to flavor it. I am. Wait, hold on. Tribute to Ronnie Coleman right here. I used up a bottle. Sweet baby race. <laughs> I got a backup. All right. There we go. Now we're ready to eat. It's meal two. We got what, eight ounces. Wow, it's 56 grams of protein. About 60, 80 grams of carbs. Whatever fats I get from the cashew clusters. And, uh... <laughs> Who cares? Barbecue sauce is awesome. Okay, you all seen me here before. Free workout. Some uh, carbolic by professional supplements going on. 
I've been behind on calories today, so I'm going to load in some calories here. Go the full 50 grams of this pre-workout, 50 grams of carbs. Rock out my one banana. Rock out a little bit. About 20, 25 grams of MTS Nutrition Whey. Again, I'm not exact with everything right now. I'll do that when I prep, but I ain't prepping. Don't take this like, Mark's contest prep diet is this. No, Mark's contest prep diet is a little bit different. But hey, my popular demand. And then, how many scoops? Do I take two scoops of this? I forgot. I got the C4 by Cellucor. Um, one to two scoops. So, of course, I'm going to go two. Two scoops of the watermelon Cellucor. Tastes great with the vanilla MTS Nutrition Whey. And there we go. We're shaking it up. Ooh, ooh, wearing this shirt by good old J.R. Bartho. Look like a beauty, train like a beast. Got hamstrings today. Post workout, Cell Tech and MTS Nutrition Whey. Already got it mixed up in a container in my bag. And of course, a little bit of basotropin from Gaspari. Really starting to dig this stuff, man. It's actually pretty tasty. Watermelon, vanilla, unflavored carbolic. I'm off. Get my training on. I got a little more work to do. I get caught in the office. I'm a meal behind. I'm going to try and make up for that at dinner. So <laughs> I'll show you what I eat for dinner. But I'm probably pretty big and disgusting. Um, cell tech post-workout is going to be, I uh, what? Well, I have 40 grams of cell tech. I have 50 grams of cell tech and about 50 grams of whey. So I'm going on with that. Mark Lobliner, peace out. Here's the hamstring workout. Nice and slow. I start with these. I did two warm-up sets, and now I'm going to failure. I'm going to drop set this bad boy. I'm going to get it done. It's going to be nasty. I really, really enjoy starting with this. Um, for me, it warms me up, reduces the chance of injury, and I also warm up with ballistic stretching beforehand. So I'm ready nice and warm and ready to rock this thing. There I go, squeezing it out. I already dropped it once, and this just gets me nice and warm and pre-exhausted for my next thing which is straight leg deadlifts, which are straight down, dirty, and nasty, and here we go. Start with uh, one plate, then two plates, for about six to eight reps, just warm up. I'm not trying to go to failure. Here's where I go to failure. If you notice, i got a nice vein sticking out of my hamstring there, pretty good for a fat dude in the off season. And I rolled up my shorts just for you guys to show my sexy ass. And um, I know you ladies out there are like, hey, and I'm like, ho. And I did two warm-ups. Here I go. I'm not done yet. I thought that would be my final set. But, now nah, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot. Now, I'm going to go down. My form's in. You see, I'm sticking out my ass. You know, uh, yeah, I'm not round in the back. I can't really pick out anything bad about my form. Touch the ground a little there. Don't like doing that. But that shit's heavy, dog. That shit's heavy. Anyway, here I go. Boom. Reverse hyperextension. My gym, I'm fortunate enough that the Rush has one of these. I get it up nice and good. Boom, squeeze at the top. The key is that contraction at the top. You want to squeeze your ass like you're squeezing off a big dump. There you go. I did one warm-up with one plate. Put on a plate and a quarter. Not very heavy. I'm already pretty exhausted on this. Now, I don't have a training partner today, so you see how I put the weight up myself. Went back around. If you notice that cool little wristband I have, that's because I have my kid in child care. And that's to make sure no freaks come running out with my kid. Um, all right, there we go. I'm done. Boom. Next up, I felt like doing more hamstring curls. Dorian would kick my ass for doing this, but hey. I give myself a complete hamstring only day, and he'd probably kick my ass for that too. Um, this machine is maxed out. It's not saying I'm a big, strong guy. As you can tell, it has green uh, upholstery, which really doesn't make it look too hardcore. You see, I gave you a little sexy look at the camera there. That was just letting you know I know you're there. I know you're watching me, and I love you too. And uh, if you notice that beautiful J.R. Barthel shirt, look like a beauty, train like a beast. And that's available. If you look in the description below, You'll see that um, you get a deal if you type in machine and get 10% off that shirt. So there we go. That was a hell of a set. I moved on to single leg, um, single leg curl. Now, here we're just watching me. Get ready for it. If you notice, get the weights. Good booty shot there. That was nice. Rock that out. Get in the machine. Get ready to go. Boom. Boom. Nice. it over. Boom. Nice. There we go. 
Hitting it, hitting it. Oh, that felt good. I was just, my hamstrings were on fire. Look at that pump in the hamstrings. You're not supposed to get pumps and hamstrings like that. And there we go. That's it. Boom, ham, calf press. Boom. Up, down. Up, down. Now, again, calves are a normal muscle. My calves suck. So I do it like any other exercise. I'm going to go hard and heavy. I'm going to overload the muscle and go to failure. Do one drop set. Not sure what's wrong with that dude right there walking. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know if he was trying to make for the camera or if he was just walking like that normally. No clue. No clue, and I don't feel like talking to him to ask him. So there we go. My calves are pretty fatigued. Again, they're small, but uh, they're growing. Damn it, I'll never stop. Seated calf raise. Again, calves, weak point for me. Very weak point. So I do my best to, to you know, bring them in. To bring them up as much as possible. To make them, uh, make them match the rest of my body and the rest of my legs. Um, I'm really happy with, if you notice, the nice split between my quad and my ham there. Um, that took me a long time to develop. And you can't just go in the gym and... People ask, hey, I got a show in a month. How do I do this? And dude, this is years of working on weak points. And, and I still have tons of weak points. And I don't really care because I might not ever step on stage again. Um, but, you know, the thing is, I just want to make sure that I'm doing all I can to better myself as a bodybuilder because it's something I partake in and I refuse to just be mediocre, if that makes any sense, or if it just makes me a narcissistic piece of shit. So be it. And I'm rocking it, touching myself a little bit there. Not quite sure why I was touching myself, but I should have known there was a camera on, and it's evident I'm touching myself, but sometimes you just can't help yourself. And this is the last one. This is a high leg leg press. This focuses on the hamstrings and glutes. Now, I believe if I wasn't wearing underwear, you'd see some sack right here. Um, but nonetheless, if you notice, my feet, I'm really, my heels are on the platform, nothing else, and I do not go this low on a regular leg press. If you notice, my back is rounding. That's terrible. I've seen more discs pop, but dude, I only got four plates total on this thing. There's not much weight. My back is popping during this, but the thing is the nice stretch and contraction I get in my glutes and my hamstrings cannot be beat. This is why I like finishing with this, and um, I'm going to continue to finish with this until I break something, but no, I'm really a big fan of this movement. I recommend you try it, try finishing with it, and um, it, really just, it really just makes everything come together at the end of the workout. So that's it. And um, then I'm going to superset with a little bit of calves. I did two total sets of these. Um, I just showed you one because after one set, it gets boring as all get out. But that's it, man. This is the workout. This is what makes it happen. Um, stay tuned for the rest of the video. There's some trampoline jumping and all that good stuff. And, dude, peace out, fellas. Yo, just got done training hamstrings, tearing them up. And uh, I've been under calories in, but I don't really care. Family night, we're having some pizza, Papa John's, pepperoni, sausage and black olives. I, I don't know if this fits my macros, because I don't really care. I'm not going to measure on each pizza pizza, figure out how many calories in it. I'm going to eat till I'm satiated, and uh, that's pretty much it. Then back on the program. So it's okay if you're bulking once in a while, have a treat. And um, I'm sure you guys just expect me to eat big piles of chicken, rice, and sweet potatoes. At the end of the day, you know, if you're not competing, indulge a little bit. It's post-workout. Peace. Alright, last meal of the day. I'm tired. I'm going to just have some sludge. As you guys probably noticed, I was severely under my daily calories, but you know what? It happens. I'm not going to cry over it. Um, tried to make it up with some pizza. Didn't have a chance to have ice cream, but you know, things going on. Wife's a little bit under the weather. Busy day at work, I'm actually, she just yelled at me to get the hell off the computer. So, um, <laughs> that's pretty much where I'm at now. But anyway, I'm just making my MTS Nutrition Sludge. Um, search that, um, MTS Nutrition Waste Sludge. Search that online. I have the whole how to make it thing. I'm not going over that now. So essentially, <laughs> I missed a meal. Had decent intro workout nutrition. Had a ton of carbs around training. 50 grams of carbolic. During training, I had 40 grams from size on. I actually threw some size on it during my workout. And post-workout, I had MTS Nutrition Way with some cell tech. So I did have some decent intra-workout, para-workout nutrition. But other than that, man, I'm just going to have some protein and fat now, maybe throw in some carbs, uh, some oatmeal or something. But, man, you know what? It happens. Life happens, and tomorrow I'll just have to eat more. Peace out. Good night. Yo, this is my weekend right here. This is what I do. I jump on trampolines. I think I'm going to go do it right now. You're about to see... Super heavyweight trampoline jumping, low blinder style. 
This is not about bodybuilding. This ain't about lifting weights. This is about being active. Just because you're big, just because you're handsome like me, doesn't mean you can't move around and do some gangster ass shit on the trampoline. Let's rock this thing. <laughs> how I do. I still got some more jumping to do. Just wanted y'all to see that just because so many people are claiming I'm not healthy, can't move, don't do this, don't do that. Dude, I'm going to do this for about an hour here, all right? It's all about living life. If you want to look a certain way, you could look a certain way. You could do your thing, but don't ever give up this for bodybuilding. That ain't never going to happen. Peace out.